Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Canfield, and today we're going to learn about the importance of being considerate and kind to others by reading the story, Pookins Gets Her Way. Pookins was used to getting her own way. If Pookins did not get her own way, she would make faces, throw apples, and yell very loudly. And because nobody wanted her to make faces, throw apples, and yell very loudly, Pookins always got her own way. She had ice cream for breakfast. She never ate her vegetables. She did not pick up her clothes and she got all the toys she ever asked for. She roller skated in the living room and she went to bed very late, sometimes even after the owls. One day, Pookins went for a skip. She wore the party dress she was supposed to save for parties, just because she felt like it. Before long, she met a magic gnome. He asked, what can I do for you? Lots, said Pookins. I want three wishes. First, I want a new pair of cowboy boots or else I'll make faces, throw apples, and yell very loudly. The gnome rubbed his magic hat and Pookins got her cowboy boots. Now, demanded Pookins, I want a beautiful clean hat. Make sure it has plenty of diamonds or else I'll make faces, throw apples, and yell very loudly. Pookins got her queen hat with plenty of diamonds. And finally, she said, I want to become a flower, the prettiest flower in the world. The magic gnome looked at Pookins and asked, are you sure you want to become a flower? If you don't make me become a flower, warned Pookins, I'll make faces, I'll throw. Never mind," said the gnome. Becoming a flower is not easy, said the gnome. First, we must put you in a pot. Then you need some nice soil around your roots. He dumped a load of dirt all over Pookin's lovely new cowboy boots. And of course, you'll need plenty of water. The gnome gave Pookins a good watering all over. Soon the soil felt very squishy in the pot. Finally, chirped the gnome, you must stand in the sun for hours and hours and hours. And with that, he rubbed his magic hat. There stood Pookins in the sun, in a pot, very wet, up to her ruffles in the soil. Hours and hours and hours and even more hours passed. Pookins was a flower. By the time Pookins decided that getting her own way wasn't so much fun after all. 
Let me out of this pot, she cried, or else. Or else what, said the gnome. Flowers can't throw apples or yell loudly, and I can hardly see your face through all those petals. You wanted your own way, and I gave it to you. Pookins felt very sorry for herself and began to cry. Suddenly, without warning, it began to rain. My hat, my magic hat, cried the gnome. It will shrink and I will lose my powers. For the first time, Pookins felt sorry for the gnome. Get under my petals. I'll keep you dry, she said. The gnome stayed there until the rain stopped. Pookins, he said, you helped me, so I will help you. On one condition, you must put all of your bad faces, loud yells, and apples into my magic hat forever. Then I will let, then I will let you out of the pot. Pookins quickly agreed. The magic gnome rubbed his hat and Pookins was no longer a flower. The happy Pookins quickly skipped home and she only kept one small apple just in case. Boys and girls, remember that you can't always have your own way and it's important to be considerate of other people's feelings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos. Connect with me on Instagram and Twitter at Learn Elementary or check out my new website, learnelementary.com.